Man, it's 2022. Tales from the Crib. We upgrading. We got a reaction page now. Tales from the Crib? This isn't no Tales from the Crib. Do you know what this is? What's this? This is the red-headed stepchild of Tales from the Crib. <laughs> the, the little ugly duckling. Yes, it's the ugly duckling. But to support this ugly duckling, you need to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bing bong bell. <laughs> also, also, I'm going to need you to follow us on Twitter. I'm Felix Supreme 305. That's Papa O Block. Yep. Are, am I the main host on uh, this channel? Or are you the main host? Ain't no main host. We just making videos. We dropping videos randomly. This is the fun show. The fun show. The other one's all business. <laughs> if you thought the other show was fuss, fun, boy, are you in for a treat. And, you know, we dropping random videos, but we will consistently drop Star Wars videos. Thanks, thanks for letting the cat out of the bag. We're not even there yet, but let's go ahead. I, I can hold it. That's what she said. <laughs> We're just like The Office. But anyway, you know, this is the creators of Tales from the Crib. Go ahead and subscribe to our main channel. This is the channel that supports us. This is the channel that makes this channel happen and thrive. Of course. And also, go to our Instagram page, Tales from the Crib 210. You know, hit that embroidery code. You know, get our, get our likes up. Get our subscribes up. You know, tell your friend and tell a friend and tell a friend that we got the best reaction channel ever. And tell me what an embroidery code is. The little, the little QR the little, code, whatever. <laughs> but we got a treat. Oh no! I think I hear something coming. Is there something in the air? Do you hear it? Do you feel it? What's that? It, it's the computer mouse not working. <laughs> oh, I wonder what Jules doing. We're bringing in the vibes. There it is, Crib Reactions. Crib Reactions starting off with technical difficulties. If that isn't a stepchild show, I don't know what is. <laughs> Man, let me tell you, this show right here, The Book of Bubba Fett, <laughs> is that what it's called? Did you say The Book of Bubba Fett? What is it called? Uh, it's Boba Fett. That's what, that's what I just said. No, you, you said Bubba Fett. Vet? Fett. Fett? Yes. Boba Fett. Yes. The book of Boba. You need to get it right. <laughs> if we're going to do an interview on this show, you definitely got to get it right. Listen here, I'm already not a Star Wars watcher. The fact that you got me out of my comfort zone to watch Star Wars is amazing. It's it's Boba Fett, and you know by the end of the show, you better have it right. <laughs> we're going to give you two uppercuts to the face. Boba Fett. Boba. Boba Fett. He said Boba. Boba, Boba, fact. come like here, Bo Boba. Like Bulbasaur, not Bulbasaur. <laughs> this isn't the Bulbasaur show. Jeez, we're gonna get canceled right out the gate. Support nah, yeah, we love we love Star Wars, man. We love I love everything about it. I'm not even gonna lie. My mom loves Star Wars. That every, she does. Ever since I was a kid, I tried to watch Star Trek. She slapped it out of my hand. She's like, "We don't watch that over here." She said, "You know better." Exactly. I remember when she took me to the movies to see what's the movie when uh, Luke Skywalker was like he had no arms and no legs like he was on the boat like by a volcano. <laughs> that, that was uh, that was Anakin Skywalker. Oh, Anakin that was Skywalker. Luke's dad. <laughs> Man, you're, you're already de you're already cutting off all the limbs of all the Skywalkers. You'd be a, a great executive producer at the new new Star Wars. But we got something special in. We got the Lucas Lucas film special elixir it's invisible fluid it will ruin the insides it will give you cancer but it's delicious i got water that's because you're not special that's because you couldn't pronounce boba fett right boba fett sorry one more time boba fett boba boba like yeah. sore no not <laughs> that's boba this is boba b-o-b-a Okay, we'll get that soon. You, you're going to get kicked in the keister, <laughs> sir. I could already see it now. Let's, Man, let's jump in the show. We watched it twice. We checked it out. Man, no, for real. We watched it twice. I love this. this I would say movie. This is a TV show. Like, first Limited off. series, yes. First off, it started off with, who was this? It's Boba Fett. Boba Fett 
falling into this like this saint this demon this sand demon i was like what what is what's going on he fell into the starlight pit like how do you start off a tv show and you're already dead <laughs> it doesn't you know, make any sense he's so vicious that he can survive that's how it goes when you're that real you just pop up out the sand when people think you're dead and you come back with a vengeance true and then i mean i'm the fact that he was smart enough to shoot through oh, he the monster with some flamethrowers was a genius. I'm surprised he survived. And then there's a lot of controversy that um, the stormtrooper that he grabbed the oxygen from, there wasn't, excuse me, any stormtroopers at this battle where they killed Jabba the Hutt. So it's like, where did the stormtrooper come from? Was he um, just doing a survey and fell in? Was he been there for years? If he's been there for years, was his oxygen still be working? Many questions left to be answered. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Like, if you... Unless it doesn't make any sense. I don't know, but would... Do you think you could survive a stomach? Stomach acid? Hey, Taco Bell every day. I survived. <laughs> your, your inside survived. <laughs> the stomach acid. That's disturbing. But we know it's better than stomach acid survival. Is going in the desert and having your son baked into leather while these sand people pull you along. It's ridiculous. True that. And I told you and I told you from the beginning, as soon as who are these people that caught him? It's the sand people. The sand people as soon as the sand people caught him and he was walking for miles and miles and miles in the hot sun, I was like, I would've gave up. Like honestly, I would have gave up. Oh man, no, I'm I'm talking crazy. That's not that's not the sand people, they're the Tuscan Raiders. The Tuscan Raiders? Yeah. Uh, I, I missed it. I I I love Star Wars, but even I mixed it up. The Jawas are like the um the little ones, but the Tuscan. Well, the, I guess the Tuscan Raiders are the Sand People. They're kind of the same thing. It's a lot to keep track of. People, you got to have a crazy mind to keep track of all this stuff. So we're gonna try to do it together. When we mess up, correct us in the comments, cause I'd be forgetting, and this guy. Knows nothing about Star Wars. <laughs> I told you, I was on it from the jump. I'm I'm new to this. I mean, but I'm, your mom took you to see all the Star Wars movies. You didn't retain nothing. I told you what I retained. He had no arms. He had no limbs. And the other dude had he had. I remember the other dude. Um, he had the saber, but he had the sword, sword, like two swords. Like one was red going. It was Darth red. Maul. Yeah, him. He was fire. Everybody wanted to be Dark Maul. With the red face, he was fire. I was him for Halloween. And. <laughs> And when you went to the door, they punted you right back because you were too scary. So you're like, what is this demon baby trying to come and get me? No, nah, but honestly, like, why would, so do they normally just, the Tusk, what do they, they call it? T Tuscan? Tuscan Raiders. So they just walk the sand. They're sand people. They just walk the sand and they just find random people and they make them their slaves. They do all kinds of stuff. They're kind of like Indians, like Native Americans, the correct terms. I said Native Americans. Oh, man. No, I just meant that's kind of like the, what they're based off. They're natural people living in a natural land. And when you grow up in the desert, you learn how to live in the desert because it's hard, tough life. You need to be a baseball player. And you have giant dogs that are like demons. Demon dogs. Alligator. Baby dogs. <laughs> but um, it looks like he barely survived here. And he used the dog uh, to come here. He tricked it. He used it to cut its bandages. And then the little Greedo alien snitched on him. He tried to take off. And then he had a fight like one of the Master Sand people. Nah, this part was amazing. So what you, you should cut back? I want to show them the Master Sand people. You oh, can yeah. go back and forth. These are the two pictures on what we're talking so, about. So before we move on, so right here, when he was uh, tied up against the pole... Yeah, I was like, okay, so this makes sense. They kidnapped him, not even hit, sent him here and take his organs. But nah, what's that noise? Oh, nah, it wasn't that. So when this dog came up and he was sniffing him up and down, I was like, man, he, of course, this this is typical. He gonna get out. He gonna get out. And what happens? The dog attacks and he puts him in a headlock. Do you remember him? The Cobra Clutch. I remember when I put Gavin in the Cobra Clutch. And I got out of it just like Cobra Kai Season 4. The Revenge of the Cobra. I knocked him out like Jake Paul. No, I've yes. never been done like that. <laughs> I'd quit it life if I got knocked out like Nate that. Robinson. I would just jump off a cliff and be done night, with night. it. Nah, but for real, 
And then on top of that, the ad insult, like he would have saved this other who's this other person? Who's this other this alien? another alien creature that got captured? So he's, said that, that, uh, so he's not like a he's not a part he's not of a any, character. He's not like a major character. He's just a snitch. another alien. He's a snitch. He's a snitch ass alien. He's a snitch. And then throughout the whole episode, he kept trying to be nice to the snitch. And I was like, We don't be nice to snitches over here. Snitches get six snitches. Except for, st- blah, 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 blah. Snitches. Now you get- sound like the alien. <laughs> They're here. Get them. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then he had to fight the uh, master Tuscan Raider, and he didn't know how to fight with a what did you call it from Lion King? The little uh, the bamboo stick. Yeah. Who's <laughs> what's the character? It's like the ba- it's like the bamboo stick in the in the Lion King with the monkey. What's the um? Now you draw a blank. You've been name? saying this monkey's what's- name all day. Abu, no Abu. <laughs> that's Abu. That's that? a ladder, that's a man. Ladder. <laughs> it's the wrong. What, let me look it up right Jafar? now. Jafar, no. What's, what's the monkey's name in in Lion King? It's Rafiki. Rafiki. I knew it. I knew it. I got it before he even looked it up. I, my that. mind. I, I played football that. for a lot of years, so I barely remember my own name anymore. Um, okay. But uh, I do remember Rafiki and his stick. So, yeah, Rafiki <laughs> definitely had some Tuscan Raider skills. Exactly. And as soon as, he, as soon as Bubba, Boba, 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 I'm coming. You're going to go yeah. viral. They're going to love you in the Star Wars community. <laughs> Just mis- mispronouncing like their favorite character's name. They're going to be like, I hate this guy. I hate him so much. He calls him Boba, Boba Fett. It's like Boba Sore. <laughs> Boba Sore Fett. Oh my god! Me, but as soon as so they were fighting, you know, I thought it was gonna win. They gave him a fair one on one, but nope. He got hit in, he got hit in the head. Harder the than Hollywood set. Ashton. <laughs> that's, a, that's a flashback to when my co-host was be, beating people up with chairs and other things. You know, I used to be a WWE superstar. You can catch me in WWE No Mercy if you had Nintendo sixty four. If you had Nintendo 64, look me up. Speaking of WWE, this is kind of a samurai setup wherever he has all his armor set up. That's awesome. I wish I had this in my house. Um, but, yeah, that's awesome armor. I love that scene wherever he got suited up like Iron Man with the help of the robots. And then this part right here, it didn't make any sense because I thought the whole – I thought I actually thought the TV show was over with once he got caught by the sand people. But – no. I guess it was, it was all. It was flashbacks. I didn't even realize it was flat. He was having flashbacks. Yeah, every time he went into the tank, it's called a back to tank. It's a healing tank, and he was having flashbacks to write, um, basically what happened after Return of the Jedi, when he fell in the Sarlacc pit, fighting Luke, and then Han Solo hit his backpack, launching him into the side of the ship, where then he fell and rolled down into the sand into the Sarlacc pit, and then he escaped. And everything happened like we just explained. Okay, and if you're like me and you don't know anything he just said, comment below. When was your first time experiencing Star Wars? Did you get a toy? Was it a movie? Was it the TV show? What was it? But back to what's going on um, with him in that chamber thing. It's it's like what I call it. It's like the hyperbolic chamber in Dragon Ball Z. Yes, exactly. It's awesome. So I with, wish I had one. So every time he gets hurt, he just crawls in the chamber. And so I guess when he crawls in the chamber, the side effects is his flashbacks. I mean, I don't know if it's really a side effect, but I mean, I guess it's happening. He said the dreams are back. So, but so all these dreams that he's having. They're real flashbacks. They're real flashbacks of things he actually. That but, happened to him. But this is all leading up to what he is now. Yeah, it's just basically showing he's trying to be the crime or the crime lord now. He took over for Jabba. He's going to be the leader. And what about of Jabba? He died in the Return of the Jedi, the final, the third movie of the original uh, trilogy. That the big blob, the big ugly. Yeah, the the, the oh. snail looking dude. Remember, Princess okay. Leia choked him out with the chain. That's a little bit of foreshadowing of how Just this like- episode ended. <laughs> That's called foreshadowing. But then the next part, we had him where he's in the chambers. He's talking to everybody. He has all the people coming up and um, giving him offerings. I think they used a token or whatever word they used. And everyone's giving him money or whatever they have. And then the mayor sends the Twi'lek dude um, and says that basically, the only thing I'm giving you is a kind welcome and you need to pay me. 
and Boba. He's been saying it so wrong, I almost said it wrong. <laughs> but uh, Boba's like, I'm the crying lord. What's wrong with this guy? And he goes, my gift to you is you leaving unmolested. And I thought that was hilarious. You can't even say that word. Oh, my God. You can say that word, unmolested. That means it didn't happen. It twice. <laughs> you can't, you gotta... It just means it didn't happen. Unhoney mustard. <laughs> You could have left honey, un honey mustard. Yeah, that's what we have for YouTube purposes. It was in the show. The show's PG thirteen. This is a PG thirteen channel. Whatever, but like, but so like my co-host was just saying. So Boba, yep, I got you. See, I'm, yep, I'm learning. learning. Boba was sitting down on his little throne. It was his one part where he had like these two pigs, the uh, two war hogs <laughs> that was like, they was like, oh, we need to kill him. We need to torture him. So that everybody, so they can hear hear their squeals throughout the land, and he was like, "No, y'all was loyal to you were loyal to whoever you were loyal to. If that I means something." You. And he spared him, just like he spared the girl, the uh, the little sidekick girl, which is amazing. Which was the same thing I, the same place yeah, that I believe they're, in. Uh, they're Gamorians. Gamorians. That's what the pigs are called. Okay, so yeah, they were Jabba's um, guards. Um, Remember, that's kind of pictures of them when they uh -huh. were on the sail barge. Yeah. And then I guess that they were going to torture him to show strength, but he decided to spare them and have uh, two loyal fighters on his team, which I think is a smart move. More protection too. is uh, better protection. I, I do too, but I mean, at the same time, some tells me that this may turn on them somewhere in this episode, somewhere in the season. Yeah. Yeah. You got to watch. And then um, it basically flashes to current times. Um, they're making their rounds. They go to what your favorite place, which is the Strip lingerie up. club. I thought we were making this PG thirteen. You can, <laughs> you was over here saying honey mustard, <laughs> but uh, they go there and uh, they get their helmets cleaned and filled up. This is, so is this okay? So right here, is this just like the Star Wars movie you showed me with Danny Glover and, and like when he won the spaceship and it was like gambling for money and everything? Is like kind yeah, of the same thing? Yeah, solo. Yeah, yeah, it's Han kind Solo. of a, yeah, the solo story. Okay. It's, it's just like that. Okay, so they go down here, they gamble and all this. So, so I guess in every place they have this, a gambling spot. Yeah, most places, most planets um, will have some place where you could gamble. And who, the lady that he was talking to there, who was that lady? She basically runs the gambling joint. She runs the brothel. Oh, I thought she was somebody important. Yeah, no, she hasn't been seen before. Uh, but yeah, she uh, looks like maybe she'll be a bigger character. Maybe she'll be a uh, Boba's girlfriend. What's it? What kind of creature? I know. I know. It's a Twi'lek. It's a Twi'lek. Yeah, there oh. was a lot of them this episode. I know. And then they leave, they basically they get their money. They say howdy duty or whatever, and then they're leaving. And then they get jumped by these guys that try to keep them uh, back to back in the shields. And this is when they get ambushed. Mm -hmm. And this is when the show, the show got real. Yeah, and then uh, we were like. As soon as you said, where the heck are the pigs? The pigs got in the action. Real talk? The I, thought, I thought the backstabbing already started early. I was like, damn. The pigs already turned on them. Only three seconds later in the scene and you already got to see? Mm -mm -mm. They were about to get done in and the pigs saved them. So, and who are, so the people that attacked them, who are they? We don't know yet. That's what we got to find out in the next episode. Because so, remember when the guy said that the mayor might be uh, talking to him again? Mm -hmm. Maybe this is the mayor's message. I'm guessing, but we have no idea. I haven't heard any leaks. I mean, but do you know any idea since you know Star Wars? No, no clue. I don't, oh. There's no one that looks like these ninja dudes or these people or whatever. We don't know who these ninja dudes are. These ninja shield dudes. And then they take off once uh, the G Gamorreans uh, save Boba. And he says Fennec Shand, who is his assassin assistant, to go after these dudes. She corners two of them, decides to kill one. And save one to interrogate. So I guess we'll find out the next episode who they're working for. I was wondering what happened. I was sitting like, what happened when they interrogated him? I mean, what happened when they first got him? Cause I remember she held she had one by she held one up by sword point, and then she kicked him off the she kicked him off the building. She you said, know, "I'll still bye bye." <laughs> and kicked him right off the roof like it was GTA. She didn't even care. So okay, so who is she? So is she? She's Boba's sidekick. Basically, she owes her life to him. Because she got messed up pretty bad, and he found her 
and saved her life. So he basically did the things necessary to keep her from dying. So now she's like uh, owed a life debt to him. I wish life was like Star Wars. If I saved your life, you owe me your life. That would be cool. But you know, but you know there's, <laughs> there's too many Texas out here. They living by their own rules. And in, in Texas, I would end up owning the whole state. <laughs> Um, but and then we get uh, to another flashback because when they got jumped, Boba got shanked. They put him back in the back to tank and he flashes back to where he's in the Tusken Raider village. One of the baby sand people, Tusken Raiders, gets him and the snitch and they go looking for water. They notice some people stealing from a, um, a farm similar to like what uh, Luke grew up on. And then they start looking for stuff. And then the snitch alien gets what snitches get, and he gets murked by the giant monster. And Boba had to come and save the day and save the little sand. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, wait. The snitch monster died? You, yeah, remember? You remember he, like, stabbed him into the sand? I thought he just... I, I don't know he died. You. That will kill you hard. I, so, really? Yeah. I gotta watch the end of the show again, because I could have sworn he You'd was... you be a, falling asleep. I watched it three times. You watched it twice. I'm a man. I watched it twice. I didn't fall asleep no one time. The show was too good. We're it's gonna have to. Minutes. We're gonna make you watch it again, and uh, before the next episode comes out, I have to watch. I'm watching. I have to watch with my mom when I see my mom. Oh, that'll be nice. But um, yeah, we're gonna uh, keep reviewing these videos. But that was basically how the episode uh, ended. So we'll get to see how Boba is gonna be taken over as the crime lord. Um, let me go ahead and get this to the. Ooh, ooh, skipping ahead to the final Boba slide of him sitting there. Beautiful picture. Do you have, uh, what is your rating? Let's go ahead and give each episode a rating. I personally, as a diehard this, Star Wars best fan. Best out of five. We're going to do out of five. Ten. Out of ten? Yeah, I think All that's right. better. And I'm a diehard Star Wars and Boba fan. I rate this an eight out of ten. I think it would have been higher, but the episode was short. It was only 35 minutes long. I wanted a minimum 40 minutes, 45 minutes is more what I'm talking about. Give us longer episodes and you'll get better ratings. But for the time period, it was pretty good. What do you give it out of 10? I give it a 10 out of 10. It's amazing. <laughs> it was fight. It was a violence. He shot his way out of a monster. First off, you just like fire. that. He, <laughs> he used fire to get out someone's inside. It was amazing. And then he was getting beat up and kicked in the face. And then he finally got the giant monster and, choked him to death i don't care about the choking and the death part only thing i care about is he's saving everybody alive and if you cross him i can't wait to find out what happens when you cross him you know this is actually a pretty long review we we're aiming for like 15 minutes we're already at 22 so let's get out of here crib reactions are supposed to be short videos you need to support our channel like comment subscribe follow us on twitter at papa oblock at Felix Supreme 305. This has been a Tales from the Crib production. Follow the main channel at uh, Tales from the Crib, Tales from the Crib 210 on Instagram. Hit that subscribe button and go ahead and subscribe right here for more reaction videos. We got Crib Reactions. Give us more followers. We're going to be reviewing every episode of the Book of Boba Fett. Do you have any uh, final uh, comments, sir? No final comments. Just know we we dropping these like hotcakes, man. We giving these out like candy. And also follow the podcast page. We dropping every Monday, seven thirty. Tales from the crib podcast, yeah. best show in Texas. Holler at us, man. And leave your comments below. We'll see you later.